Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So first we start the unboxing, but if you want to skip directly to the data transfer, you can see the video description for the chapters. So this is the alpine loop, I have took the large one and my wrist is about 17 centimeters all around. As you can see on my wrist I already have the alpine loop but that is an Aliexpress knockoff. But both compared the difference isn't that big. Here we have the USB-C power cable, but you have to provide the power plug yourself. When you put the Apple Watch on, put it above your iPhone and the wizard will pop up. And you can choose if you want to configure it as a new Apple Watch or you want to come back uh, copy of a previous Apple Watch. So now my watch is connected. It sees that I already have an Apple Watch. And if I want to put that copy on my new Apple Watch, I have to update my new Apple Watch first. And this guys will take forever. It took me almost one hour to update my new Apple Watch. So of course in this video I edited all the waiting out. So now the update is done, we can configure the new Apple Watch. So just go through all the screens. I put on the analysis, I create my code. Here I can choose if I want to have bigger text. configure my health app noise detection I turn off because I don't want to have alerts all the time when it thinks the environment makes too, too much noise and here I can add my bank cards So just go through the steps, you have to agree with the conditions to verify your card and send you a verification code by SMS. And when you enter that verification code, you 
card will be added to your Apple Watch. So that's it for both of my cards. Here you can choose an option for the action button on the left, this new button for the Apple Watch Ultra. You can choose how your applications are ordered. And there you go, it's busy putting everything onto your Apple Watch. You can see now it has my old Apple Watch face and in the Apple Watch app, I can see both of my Apple Watches and it detects automatically which one I'm wearing. So now I have my Apple Watch Ultra on my wrist and I can set the specific Apple Watch Ultra watch faces as well. And if I want to to delete everything on my old Apple Watch, I just go back to the Apple Watch app. And in the upper left corner, I can choose all Apple Watches, choose my old Apple Watch, disconnect Apple Watch, disconnect confirm, enter your iCloud password, and you're all done. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the very next one. Bye bye.